that. And I'm showing here Facebook because Facebook is very important because Facebook is the first social network in history, offline or online, that connected 2 billion daily active users and 3 billion monthly active users out of, I mean, there's only 8 billion people on planet Earth. 7 billion of them have a, have a phone. So it's two or three out of, let's say, seven or eight. I mean, that's a big percentage together in one social network. So we often use Facebook in this pioneering role. And you might or might not have a Facebook account, but bear with me today. We're going to study it a little bit because it teaches us about the effect of these large social networks. So let's first of all, see how Facebook actually runs ads. So I just here went on my Facebook account and I bought an ad. So you just have a post. And then if you have a public account, you can boost that. And I then specified my audience that I want this post to reach. But let's first of all, see how Facebook actually runs ads. So I just here went on my Facebook account and I bought an ad. So you just have a post and then if you have a public account, you can boost that. And I then specified my audience that I want this post to reach because I can specify the audience because Facebook knows a lot about people that use it. That is first ingredient of the business model. So I specified I want, I don't care about if it's men or women, I, but I want them to be between 13 and 20 years old. And I want them to live around 25 miles around Menlo Park. That's where Facebook is headquartered here in Northern California and in San Francisco. And then I do a little bit detailed targeting. I want them to be addicted to, to games and websites. I'm very interested in distilled beverage and liquor. Wine, of course. Well, very good alcoholic. Choice of the alcoholics. A chocolate as well. I mean, talk, talk about addiction, like talk about chocolate, right? I want them to be away from the family and away from the hometown and in a long distance relationship that is complicated. And I want them to be new parents of a newborn, like less than one year old. I want them to be like really like in a, in a really stressful situation. And I want them to show purchasing behaviors that that really attracted to some offers. And I want them to have a really old phone. Like let's say a 2G like phone, like it's like basically a flip phone. I want them pretty, pretty, pretty poor too. All right. So I want them being stressed. I want them to be addicted. I want them, I want them vulnerable. And then Facebook tells me, hey, we know a lot about the people, right? So here around Menlo Park, we have between 7.9 and 9.2 thousand, let's say eight, eight or nine thousand people that you could target there. And then it tells me, okay, so what do you want to get out of them? And that's the first ingredient. You can actually, since you know them so well, you can actually choose what you want to get out of them. You can persuade them. So it says, do you want to get more messages out of them or do you want to get more engagement out of them? Or automatic, let Facebook select the most relevant goals based on your settings. Let's go automatic. Let's trust artificial intelligence. And then they tell us how much does it cost? Well, to reach between 61 and 178, let's say you know, uh, up to 200 people almost, it costs uh, per day. It costs about $12, so we run it for seven days. For yeah, That's fine, right? So we reach about 100 and 180 people per day for a week, $12. That's that's a good budget. And then, oh, almost done. Oh, no, no, no. I can also leverage Facebook's data to automatically deliver different ad creative variations to people when likely to improve performance. So Facebook knows people so well that it can create, and you'll talk about what that is, that has to do with the A-B testing, that it creates different variations of the content that I show, and I can have this creative advantage because it knows them so well, and then it goes in and brainwashes them.